Hi, I'm Mark Gaylor for markgaylor.com and today I have the Zeiss Batis 2.8 18mm prime lens. Now it's, um, it's a native e-mount lens so you don't need adapters to um, work with this lens and um, uh, it's a lens that I've been wanting to borrow for quite a while and I've managed to get my hands uh, on one uh, via CR Kennedy here in Melbourne and um, it has um, it is not disappointed, I have to say. Now, obviously, one of the advantages of working with an ultra wide angle prime instead of maybe um, um, a zoom lens is we've got a significant weight saving and we've also got a wider aperture. Now, this has got a one step advantage. On the surface, the uh, lenses don't look too dissimilar in size, but um, this uh, lens is a good 40% uh, approximately uh, lighter than that zoom. Now, I, I do like the zoom, but sometimes I do need to travel light. And I have to say that even when I'm using this uh, 1635, most of the time it's at the wide end. It's at the 16 to 20 mil focal length end. So I don't, well, I don't think I'll lose out too much by maybe taking a, uh, an 18 mil prime when I go out on location. Um, one of the things that I really wanted to see with this lens is how sharp is sharp. And uh, I haven't been dis disappointed in that regard. Uh, this lens is really sharp. Uh, it doesn't matter whether you're shooting handheld, wide open at the maximum aperture 2.8, it's going to give you uh, stellar results. Um, typically for me I'll be out there with a tripod and it'll be stopped down to f8 or f11 and uh, the sharpness has to be seen to be believed which is why I'm giving you a link to a gallery with ultra HD examples shot at a variety of apertures. Now um, there will be um, full resolution um, downloads as well. Now obviously the full resolution versions that I'm giving you the link to, they won't appear um, as sharp as the 4K examples until you download them and zoom in on your computer. And obviously what these full resolution uh, files allow you to see is when you're going to large print, you're going to get those really sharp results corner to corner in your images. Okay, so um, this is a great lens. It's got no aperture ring on the lens. Okay, that is just controlled. It's got a nice smooth focus ring. Uh, one of the uh, great things about um, the, these Zeiss batters, and I have to say I didn't use this feature on the 85 when I tested in Bali, is when we drop into manual focus, we have a a little LED readout uh, of the distance uh, that we are from the uh, subject or where the distance uh, that it's focusing. Now, I, as I said, I didn't really use this with the 85 because typically I'd be in um, autofocus with portraits, IAF, and I just let the autofocus uh, um, make sure that I'd get those sharp results. But when I uh, put an ND filter on, a very strong ND filter, it's got a 77 millimeter thread on this one, um, I was using that distance scale. I was dropping the distance scale to three meters uh, so that I knew my depth of field was going to cover both the foreground subject matter and also push me out to the distance subject in what I was framing and that can be tricky to do uh, when you've got a strong ND filter on sometimes you may even have to remove the ND to ensure focus so um, I was really uh, pleased with that um, uh, little uh, distance uh, window on this particular lens as I said it's um, it's a great prime it's got a a little bit of competition but not too much out there. Uh, we've got a Samyang 14 uh, but that's going to be nowhere near as sharp as the the Batis here. We've also got um, a Voigtlander 15mm um, that I've been using. It's the Helia 3. This is also a native E-mount lens um, and you may think that uh, well this is um, this is going to be a lot smaller and also lighter but um, this Batis is actually only 10% heavier uh, than this Voigtlander. So although this um, doesn't come into a tiny form factor, it is a surprisingly light uh, lens to take with you out on location, or if you're trying to pack down to seven kilos. Now, um, uh, I can't really recommend this lens enough. Take a look at the examples, as I said, online, and uh, make your own mind up whether the Zeiss Batis 18mm Prime is gonna find uh, place in your camera bag. Okay, I'm Mark Gaylor for markgaylor.com.